Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zen Tangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Spiral Weave by Nicole Dreyer. And I've had a lot of fun with this tangle. I've done it on white in the round. Looks completely different. On a white tile, just adding a little, some little extras. Here's another round. But my favorite, I think, are when I did it on black tiles with um, two sizes of Jelly Roll using the fine point and the medium point. And I'm going to show you those today, but I just kind of went wild with this spiral weave. So I'm going to use a black tile and I'm going to start off with the medium size jelly roll which is an 08 and you can get these just about anywhere. Um, I do carry both the, the um, small, the fine point and the medium point in my store but we're going to start out and I'm going to do it on the diagonal with a circle and I'm going to put these circles about oh maybe a half inch apart and I ended up with six sometimes I end up with five and then I'm going to uh, I should warn you Whenever I do a tangle, and I apologize to Nicole, I always take liberty and do something a little bit different. Um, I try to make it easier for me to draw it. And so her step outs, um, if you look on uh, patterncollection.com, and I, I will put a link to the step outs in the description below and also on my blog. But... Um, I just do it a little bit different than our step outs. It just worked better for me. So for our first step is draw the circles. Then the next step is a little arch. So we're just going to put an arch between and I have one of my pens that is kind of running out of ink and I think that one's it because usually they draw fairly good. That one kind of skipped a little as it was drying. So we'll go back and oh yes much much better. When those jelly rolls run out of ink they they just run out of ink. So now we have some little arches and one thing with jelly roll especially on on a smoother paper you have to wait for it to dry or you can smudge it and I smudge very easily. So then I'm going to echo above on each one of these. So now I have a little echo above. Now this is where I vary just a little bit from Nicole. I'm going to rotate my tile so it goes this way to get this little point below I find it easier for me if I draw it next and Nicole has you um, draw the, a little wavy line next so I've waited I think long enough and I'm just going to do that little I kinda call it a leaf shape and I draw it next going I can just draw it better going this direction if I try to go down it just it just doesn't work so now I have all the little points now I'm going to come back and do step um, three this, this was step one the little dot the little circles and you can fill those in if you want. Mine will end up being filled in no matter what. This was step two and I jumped to step five here 
So now I'm going to go back and do step three, which is a line that is kind of an S shape. So it starts on one side of this circle and S shapes over. So we have a little S shape on here. And then you can go back in and I end up filling these in because I'm not so neat and tidy and I need to fill it in. And in class, when I did this this week, I taught it this way and one of my students did the next step uh, on the wrong side. She did it on the pointy side and I said, you know, there's no mistakes in Zentangle. So I ended up doing this next step on both sides. Nicole just does this little kind of a, a wave. She just does it on one side. Let me come in a little bit so you can see this just a little closer. Step down a little. And we just do that little about got off my camera. So we do that little wave there. I'm gonna come back out a little bit so you see the whole thing. Well, Julie in my class did it on the other side. She had done it on this pointy side. And I said, well, there's no mistaken in singles, so we can do it on both sides. And I liked it. So I'm going to do it on both sides because you can do anything you want. There's no rules. Let's say you have to make this tangle exactly like Nicole did it. Matter of fact, I think she varies a little in hers. She does beautiful work and always love to see whatever tile she's going to, or tangle she's going to come up with. And now the next step is I am going to echo this shape. And there we have a spiral weave. And you can see that on the spiral weave, I really went out of my comfort zone and I did loops on both sides. And now we're just going to embellish. So we can embellish this in a number of ways. And um, I liked some of Nicole's ways, but I really liked having just, especially with that pointy side, just a little line down and that jelly roll leaves a nice little point of ink. And these are just some embellishments that you can do to this tangle that really make it pop. Another thing that I liked was I like to put dots going across here. That's a great way to embellish this tangle. And I'm again, I'm using the medium sized jelly roll, which is an 08 because it lays down that ink beautifully. And we can come and do a little mooka. I have to be careful I don't put my hand on it, so I'm going to rotate it around and do a little mooka and 
what I call my signature is either fescue or circles. So I'm just doing a little fescue here. And now I'm going to take the finer tipped. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to fill in with my 08 because it lays out the the ink so nice in that where I echoed that little point I want it to stand out so I'm going to just fill that in with my jelly roll I'll probably come back in and fill that in a a little better. I'm going to let that dry just a second and I'm going to take my finer um, the 05 which is a fine point this is an 05 jelly roll and I'm going to do some little lattice work because this, do, this draws very fine and I'm just going to put some little lines behind a little cross hatching So I go both ways and then I'm going to come and go one more. I'm just going to go a third way. And I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. And another. Then straight. It kind of fills in without filling it in all the way. Or you can take either a char a general chalk or which I, I kind of prefer the Prisma white but we can take um, some chalk and I'm just going to fill in a little bit where that jelly roll skipped a little. I'm just going to fill in a little lighter back here just to give it a little light fill. So you could fill it in. You could fill in the little swirls. This one you're going to get a little variation on each one. You could just do a little shading across the top and then I'm going to come back so I even this out and I'll do cross hatching here with this very fine jelly roll kind of gives it a little fence look but look how fun that is it is just beautiful and you can take and I'm going to come back to my larger jelly roll but isn't this spiral weave just fun once again I want to show you that I did it with a round on either the top or the bottom depending it doesn't really matter which way you do it here's another one where I put put a little striping the um, lattice behind here's on black and then once again I just did it in the round which is a completely different look thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel you can get a better look at every one of these pictures these tiles on my um, blog where you can um, just get a closer look at these individually at inkadoodles.com thanks for watching don't forget to tangle every single day you will feel much better your creative side of the brain just really wants you to do that so draw every day and God bless